Hey everybody, I'm Brian with AromaCup.com and thank you guys as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by AromaCup.com. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a review and an overview of the Tassimo T20 single serve brewer. This is a very nice entry level single serve brewer and if you're looking for a way to get into the world of single serve coffee, very cool way to make the dive and not have to spend a whole lot of money to get into a single serve machine. Uh, pretty simple to use, uh, but definitely has a lot of very cool things that it can do. So let me dive in and just tell you guys a little bit about the machine. So uh, as you can see, it's got this nice shiny black finish. Really like the look of this machine. Uh, only stands about 11 inches tall all total, so it's going to fit really nicely onto a counter space. It's one of the things I like about the Tassimo machines is that they don't take up a whole lot of space on my counter, especially when you have as many coffee machines as I sometimes do. Uh, or if you have limited space, of course, in your home, your office, something like that, good way to not have a machine that's going to eat up a whole lot of countertop space. The tank on this machine is a 50 ounce tank. So it's a little bit small. It's actually the smallest of all of the uh, Tassimo machines, but really that's okay. Just fill it up every once in a while and make sure to use filtered water. You wanna use filtered water because even though this machine does have an automatic cleaning and descaling system, uh, it's still good to use filtered water because you're gonna get less buildup inside of the machine. Uh, on the front of the machine, the operation is very, very easy. You're just going to notice that you've got this one single button. That button is going to tell you when you're ready to brew or that you're in the process of brewing or that you can continue to add water to your beverage after you've brewed. And we'll talk about some of those things when we go in and brew some coffee in a few moments here. Uh, now, the main feature of this Tassimo machine and all Tassimo machines is inside of the brew basket. Now to use that you just simply pop this guy open and you're going to find inside of this a very simple operation. There's a barcode scanner inside of this. That barcode scanner is going to scan a barcode which in this case is on the top uh, or on the bottom should I say of my cleaning T-disc but all T-discs have a barcode. That barcode when read is going to tell the machine exactly what kind of beverage you're going to be making. So you really don't have to think about it when you're making a drink with a Tassimo machine. So that's really cool. A couple other things about this machine before I go into the actual brewing. If you need to use larger cups uh, such as larger tumblers, things like that, you can just simply pull out the tray and set it aside and now you get more clearance. So it's easier to add a tumbler, uh, especially if you're going to be making, say, an iced drink or something like that and you need to use a larger tumbler inside of the machine. Uh, so it's really easy to do that. Now, you can also pull this tray out and move it up and just slide it into one of these slots that you're going to see just underneath the brew basket here. And this way you can move up the tray in order to use a much smaller cup. So if you happen to be, let's say, making espresso, because you can make espresso drinks, making use of these Tassimo single serve brewers, you can use a very small espresso cup and not worry about spilling or splashing or anything like that. So it's really easy to adjust this machine. Also, of course, you're going to have your primary power button. That's just a simple on off button. Uh, these machines are very low power consumption, which is something that I really, really like about them. Uh, they don't sit there and run constantly heating themselves up and using a whole lot of energy. They have automatic sleep modes. This one has an automatic sleep mode, which will keep you from using up too much electricity. Always good for your electric bill in the long run, right? So let's uh, go ahead and talk about how we can make a couple drinks using the T20. It's really, really simple. Uh, what I have right here is a number of different Tassimo tea discs. In this case, I've got some dark roast coffee. They all come in these uh, stylish boxes, which will fit nicely right next to the machine on your countertop. You can also get, of course, uh, various trays for storing these in, spinning trays, various things like that. But each of these packages is going to have a T-disc inside of it. Now, the T-disc you're going to notice has a couple different barcodes on it. That barcode, again, as I mentioned earlier, is very important because that barcode is going to be read by the Tasmo Single Serve Brewer and then it knows exactly what kind of beverage it is that you happen to be making. So in this case, this barcode is going to tell the machine that we're making coffee. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just make a cup of coffee using the T20. Now in order to do this, just take your tea disc, you're going to flip it upside down, and it only fits into your brew tray in one way. You're going to notice that the small handle on the tea disc here sticks out. So there's no way of really you know, messing this up or anything like that. Very easy operation. These tea discs, by the way, they're all sealed. Uh, this is sealed with foil on the top. There's no holes in it or anything like that. So that means that the coffee is going to stay nice and fresh until you decide to brew it. So put your tea disc into the T20 and then just press down on the brew basket. It's going to take a little bit of pressing because you're going to actually puncture holes into that tea disc. But don't worry, you're not going to break anything or anything like that. Now take your mug and just slide it right underneath the brew basket. Now you're going to notice that when I closed up the brew basket, I've got the green light right there, which means that I'm good to brew. So all I need to do is simply press that button. Now the machine's going to take a moment or two because it needs to actually read the barcode. And this way it figures out exactly what kind of beverage it is that you're going to be making. And then very quickly you're going to see the machine start to brew your drink. Now, again, great thing about these machines is that they're fast. If you're on the go, if you have a lot of folks to make different drinks for, things like that, or if you just need to get out of the door in the morning and you only need a cup for yourself, that's why single serve is really going to make things very, very easy on you because you can make just the right drink and you only have to make one. There's very little cleanup associated with this. I'll show you how easy it is to clean up when we're all done here. And you can also customize your drink a little bit. You can pause your brew if you want by simply pressing on the main brew button. That'll stop the brewing. What you can also do after you've done that is continue to hold this button down and that will add hot water to your drink. So at that point, you can adjust the strength of, of your beverage to exactly how strong you might happen to like it, or maybe you want to lighten that coffee up a little bit. But in this case, we're just going to let the machine finish its job and do its thing automated, because again, that's one of the great things about a machine like the Tassimo T20, is you can simply pop open the brew basket, add a tea disc, put a mug underneath there, hit the button, step away, finish getting ready for your day, come back, and you're going to have a nice hot cup of coffee ready for you. Now, when the machine's done brewing, you're going to hear it going through a little bit of a pressurization process again, and you're going to see the light blinking on the front. When the light stops, you're going to be able to press down on the main brew button again and continue to add hot water to your drink. So again, like I say, if you want to customize your drink a little further, you can do that making use of the T20. Uh, and this is a feature found on these Tassimo machines, which is very cool because it makes it really fast to operate. But there you go. That's a cup of coffee, nice and quick, uh, the Tassimo T20. I was mentioning cleanup earlier. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is pop open your brew basket and take out your used tea disc. And now you can just toss this. Now this is going to be real hot, so be careful when you take it out. You may sometimes want to wait a little bit before you take that tea disc out. But if you just grab it by the handle, you're not going to burn yourself and you can continue to make drinks. So what I have right here is a tea disc kit. This is a cappuccino tea disc kit. Comes as a package with espresso tea discs as well as cappuccino milk discs. So the cool thing about this is that I can make a specialty coffee drink with just my Tassimo T20 that I would usually pay a fairly pretty penny for in a coffee shop, but I can do all of this just using this one machine. I don't even need a separate milk frother or anything like that because the T20 is going to do all of that work for me. So let me show you how this is done. I'm first off going to take my cappuccino milk disc and I'm just going to grab one of these. Now these are obviously going to look a little bit different from your average coffee tea disc because there's actually milk in here. Now these don't need to be refrigerated. In fact, they say very specifically do not refrigerate them because if you get this cold, you're probably going to affect how the machine is going to actually froth this milk up to give you that cappuccino style uh, milk that you would be looking for with the cappuccino. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it into the brew basket. Now, something that I like to point out is that before you close up the brew basket on a milk tea disc, make sure you put a cup underneath it because a little bit, a little bit of milk will probably come out of the brew center immediately. So I'm going to try and put this cup here, but it's not going to fit. So I'm going to make use of that trick I mentioned earlier and pull out my drain tray. Set that aside. And now I have enough clearance for a large mug to fit into the T20. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and close up the brew basket. 
Again, like I say, just a little bit of milk. That way you don't waste anything or make a mess or anything. Just put a cup underneath there to start off with. Now again, you're going to notice that the light is going to be glowing solid green. This means that the machine is ready to start brewing. So I'm just going to hit that button. Now again, you're going to hear the machine thinking. It's actually reading the barcode. It's going to figure out exactly the type of T-disc that you have in the unit. Now you can hear it's actually frothing. Now this is a great thing about these machines is they have a different pressure pump in them from a lot of other single serve machines that we've made use of. That's because that pressure pump is multi-purpose. In this case, it knows that it needs to actually froth the milk up. So that's kind of cool because that's actually going to give you that cappuccino style drink that you're going to be looking for uh, that again, you'd probably pay a pretty penny for in a coffee shop. Now, in this case with a milk tea disc, I would not continue to run water through this, but I do want to give the machine time to finish its repressurization process. So I want to wait until that light stops blinking because if, you, if you're in a hurry or something like that and you pop this open, you're going to cause for pressure to come out of the machine that should be in there in order to give you the absolute best brew that you're looking for. So just give it a moment or two to finish up what it needs to do. And of course, when it's all done, that light is just going to stop blinking. You're going to know that now you're ready to go ahead and pop open the brew basket. All right, so there we go. Now I can open this back up. And even there, you can hear some pressure, and that's after the machine has finished up its automatic pressurization process. So there you go. You can see that T-disc is empty now. And I've actually created frothed milk making use of just this machine. Now I'm going to take a espresso tea disc. Now, again, as I say, the blends of coffee inside these tea discs is going to be different depending on the type of tea disc that you're using. And that's going to affect how the machine is going to brew the coffee. So when I put this tea disc in and I let the machine read it, it's going to know that I'm making espresso and it's going to adjust accordingly. So now I'm just going to close up the brew basket onto that tea disc. Again, I'm going to see the light glowing solid green and I can just press that button. The machine's going to go through its thinking process and now it's going to start making my espresso for my cappuccino. So while the machine does its thinking and its job, I'll do mine and I'll remind you guys, check us out at aromacup.com, join our forums, check out our other videos on single serve brewers, find coupons, ways that you can save money on machines like the T20, T-Discs, and many, many other great single serve options, all available to you at aromacup.com. Come on over, I'd love to talk coffee with you guys. We've got a number of great videos, recipes, and a lot of other information that's gonna to help to demystify the world of single serve coffee. That's what we do best here at aromacup.com. And there you go. Now the machine has finished up its brew process. Now again, in this case with my coffee tea disc, if I would like, once it's done brewing, I'm going to know it's done brewing once that light is not blinking anymore, I can press and hold the button on the front of the unit in order to continue running water through that tea disc. And that way I can make my beverage exactly as I would like it. I'm not going to do that in this case because this is an espresso drink and I don't want to water down that coffee very much. But the very cool thing that you're going to notice here is that we actually have that layering going on that we would normally expect from a lot of drinks like this. You know, we have our foam at the top and then as we go down we have that very nice layering because Again, this machine, it's smart. It reads that barcode and it knows the type of drink that you're going to be making. You even have a little bit of a macchiato going on right there because we've actually marked the milk, which is kind of cool. Um, and there you go. And again, uh, the quality of these is actually really great. The milk tastes very good. The coffee quality is really great on these tea discs. I've been really happy with everything that I've had out of the Tassimo machines. Uh, now, something that a lot of folks do wonder about every once in a while is can they make their own coffee with these machines? Right now, unfortunately, there's not an option for that at the making of this video, but there's a number of different options which are available to you because you can do a lot of other very cool things and you can check out our Secrets of Tassimo Single Serve Brewer videos to find out how you can make many of your own drinks, including some of your own coffee, uh, such as French press coffee and things like that, by making use of just your Tassimo single serve brewer. So make sure to check out our other videos and find out some of the secrets about these cool little machines. They're very, very versatile, make some very cool drinks. Again, 
you know, in summary, really great way to get into the world of single serve coffee. If you're looking to make that leap, you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on a machine. You can get a hold of a machine like the Tassimo T20. Fits really nicely on your countertop. It has that 50 ounce tank, which is going to give you a good amount of water for making a number of different drinks. You can get all manner of different tea discs in order to make all these great specialty drinks, regular coffees, teas, uh, even hot chocolates, various things like that. And if you check out our Secrets of Tassimo Single Serve Brewer videos, you can find out how you can do a whole lot of other things that normally you would need a couple other things in your at-home coffee shop to make happen, but you can do all of that using just a machine like the Tassimo T20 and the other Tassimo Single Serve Brewers. So here you go, guys. That's a quick overview of this awesome machine from Tassimo. I hope it's been useful to you guys. Check out our other videos for recipes and other reviews of many other Tassimo machines. And of course, course, find all this great information all available to you at aromacup.com. Again, guys, I'm Brian coming to you from my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Thank you so much for joining me as always. And remember, enjoy your cup and I'll see you next time. Take care.